really a fighter um, that stands out no matter what weight class. Um, he's also seemingly a really nice person. And in my subjective view, I will first state subjectively how I view things and then I go into more the objective pieces. This is how I feel. I find him to be more interesting to watch as a fighter. His fights are exciting, high charge, high aggression, unpredictable, full of surprises. Um, submissions are extremely skilled. He has had the most submissions of any fighter in the UFC. He also happens to look like a fashion icon. That's a compliment to him. He looks literally out to take a double on him, looking like Karl Lagerfeld. <laughs> so he gets extra bonus points for that. And in this particular comparison with Islam Akhachev, while I adore Khabib and many of the things he stands for, to me, Islam is not on the same level. Um, that's just possibly a personality thing, possibly how I discovered Khabib, possibly the whole story of origin is very different with Khabib and or he claimed it first. So therefore Islam cannot claim the same history. The man from the mountains in a poor village that wrestled bears. Islam might as well wrestle bears, but that story is already taken. But overall, I just don't find Islam likable. And he's not a likable character. Why I find could be endearing, inspiring, um, scary at times. He sounds like the Terminator incarnate. Islam is just has the personality of a cardboard box. Yes. But that's my own personal take. <laughs> so his whole demeanor, his personality just is really boxed in isn't a lot of emotional conviction coming from him or inspiration. He's just kind of like reading the cooking recipe, really boring. With uh, Khabib, you have a lot more gusto. So these are kind of the main parameters why I will definitely choose Charles Oliveira over Islam. But then I will follow up with some much more objective um, things that I can sort of fill in as to why I make that choice. But it's going to be an interesting and unpredictable fight because neither one has yet fought someone like the other. So it's for both of them at first, but granted, Charles Olivier has proven himself more than many times over. And hardly anyone has had to fight that many top level contenders like he has. And he has established a very clear dominance. Similar to how I've seen Khabib Rice and John Jones to some degree, but Alexander Gustafsson was arguably the stronger fighter. Um, Even with um, Reyes, I think there was a, an argument made 